you have an exam coming up Monday, July 23rd. You can take it at 6.30 in the morning or 3.30 or 5.30 in the afternoon. You'll have an hour and 20 minutes, and it's 16 problems long. It covers all of the material we've had since exam one. So here I listed those sections. If you do want that exam returned then you'll um, before the final exam, then please bring a self-addressed envelope. I made a note of the formulas that you should have memorized for this exam. So there's the quadratic formula. And in the quadratic formula, you'll need to know the discriminant part. So that's the b squared minus 4ac. You'll also need to be able to convert a logarithm to an exponential equation or an exponential equation to a logarithmic equation. So you need to know where these go. Remember, logarithms equal exponents. So every time you have a logarithm, it equals the exponent. So this y is the exponent that you raise the base to in order to yield x. You also need this formula that you've used in earlier sections. A to the m over n means the nth root of a to the m. And you'll need that formula for some of your logarithm problems. Here's the review assignment, at least some pictures of it. I did not grab the whole thing. So um, for this type of problem, I made this a multiple choice problem so that you can use the discriminant to determine the number and type of solutions. Remember, anytime you use the quadratic formula or the discriminant, you do need to have this form with a zero on one side. I don't believe the one on the exam has a zero on one side. So make sure you get a zero on one side so that you are doing this correctly. Then you have equations that are quadratic in form. So there's a few examples of that in your, in your review assignment. On these equations that are quadratic in form, a lot of times students find the substituted variable u, but they don't go back and find the original variable in the problem. So make sure if you do something like substituting, substituting u is, here you'd say u is, is a, is x squared. After you find u, then go back and make sure you find x. Don't just find u. You'll have some problems where you have, or, well, you'll have one problem where you have to complete the square to write the quadratic equation in the form a times x minus h squared plus k. So completing the square is most of the points on that problem, getting into this form. And then you'll have to list the vertex and the axis of symmetry as well. You're not supposed to bring a graphing a calculator, uh, and you do have to graph this, but you can graph it from knowing the vertex and then finding another point that lies on the, on the parabola besides the vertex. You'll have a, um, a quadratic inequality and a rational inequality to solve. So those answers would be answered as part of a number line, a section from the number line. On the problem where you have to graph the exponential function, I ask you to identify three ordered pairs that lie on the graph. So don't just draw a picture, okay? Make sure you um, find actual x's and y's that lay on the graph, three pairs. Also, you need to know that the exponential function has either this shape or the shape of the problem, the next problem, where you have this part of the graph approaching the x-axis. Okay, so if you don't have this part of the graph approaching the x-axis, you won't get full credit. On these logarithmic problems and exponential problems where you're going back and forth from a logarithm to an exponential equation or an exponential equation to a logarithm, you have to um, have that formula memorized that we wrote on the first page. So. I think I put like four of these on there, so make sure you do know that formula because this that's worth a lot of points.
So here again are some examples of changing the logarithmic expression to exponential expression. Here's an example where you need that formula a to the m over n is the nth root of a to the m to find this correctly. When, when you have solving systems of equations on the exam, I don't tell you to use substitution or elimination. So that's your choice how you want to solve those. Then you'll have also three equations and three variables to solve. And you'll have a word problem. There's two word problems, one from the three equations and three variables, and one from the two equations and two variables. Both of them are similar to one that's on the review, so you can go ahead and use your review to help you remember how to do those. There'll be one problem where you do have to use matrices to solve a system of equation. It'll be a two by two system of equation as this is. If you have any questions or you want to see some of the review problems worked out in detail, please feel free to email me and I'll go ahead and post those.